Hey all, this is part four, and it's the second of the coding challenges for the if-else-if if portion. So we're going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, a number called shirt width, and returns a specific string for four different cases. Your function should use an if-else-if if statement to determine which size t-shirt is appropriate based on the following conditions. If the shirt width is greater than or equal to 20 and less than 30, your function returns should you should select a size s. If the shirt width is greater than or equal to 30 and less than 40, the function should return, you should select a size M. If the shirt width is greater than or equal to 40 and less than 50, the function returns, you should select a size L. If none of these conditions is met, none of these conditions are met? Hmm. Probably are met. Uh, the function returns, you should select a different shirt. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, select shirt size. So let's go ahead and grab our function stub. Let us go ahead and grab our test cases. And okay, so for this one, I'm not going to wrap around the pseudocode. We're just going to say if, and then we have a problem here because we wrote choice here. So I'm going to replace this with shirt width. But you want to keep in mind that nothing changes here. If we left this as choice and we called it choice all the way through our function, it would do the exact same thing as what we're about to do. But since it's a typo and since shirt width is what we said in the problem statement that we were going to have as a parameter, I'm going to change it to shirt width and also change it before you all see it. So uh, if shirt width, and the first one is, is that shirt is greater than or equal to 20. So if shirt width is greater than or equal to 20, and shirt width is less than 30, then the return statement is you should select a size S. Excellent. Then we'll have an else if condition, and this one is going to be if the shirt width is greater than or equal to 30, and shirt width is less than 40, then we'll return you should use. You should select a size M. Else if shirt width is going to be for this one greater than or equal to 40 and less than, what does it say, 50. Turn you should select a size L. Then the final condition, which is to say it's not a condition, it's just the else portion, is return you should select a different shirt. So more so than the last example, this one actually does have some use cases. And you could also consider a more, um, what would you say? Mm, business savvy t-shirt company coming up with a size XL, double XL, and triple XL. And those would just be other else if statements describing the shirt width applicable to those sizes. So this is a case where the else if else if situation does make a little bit more sense because we're actually returning or doing something different in each case, whereas previously we were kind of just returning player one chose whatever their choice was. Um, so with that in mind, we could probably go back and mess with that if else if statement to make it not an else if else statement and just have it be three conditions all with an or operator uh, to see if the player chose rock or paper or scissor. But that's not necessary for this point because we're not going for maximum efficiency, we're going for here's what an if else if else if statement does. So let's run this. Size S, size S, M, M, L, should select a different shirt, and two versions of it not working. So two versions of it not working are one where the size is 12, so the too small, and one where the too big. So let's go ahead and copy our now completed function, bring it back, paste it in, run the tests, looking good. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.